The guest on today's episode of Radio City Original Made in Kerala Season 2, powered by Joe Salukas, is someone who's a genius in physics, max, chemistry, biology, geography, and history. In fact, so much more. He's India's most wanted production designer, the man behind the blockbuster RRR and Bahubali. Ladies and gentlemen, Chetamare Chechimare, we have with us Malayali Gulda, India to the Nasondam, Sabo Cyril. Sir, Namaskaram. Welcome to Made in Kerala Season 2. Sir, what do you think about this? Daily work, I enjoy my work, so okay. I enjoy that more than anything else. That's something you've been saying it in every interview at all. That's why I'm not sure if you're a person who loves it like anything. It's my passion. It became my passion, actually. I was not interested in coming into films first. I was an engineer and a mechanical engineer. Then towards the, the, end of the college days, this one took over, art took over at one point. Then I think I enjoyed jo- in School of Arts and Shesham. Uh, I didn't want to come into films. I took up visual communication, but accidentally came into films. Okay. So, we have guests. We have guests. We have a guest. We have a standard question. The one question from where we begin. ഒരു മലയാളി മറ്റൊരു മലയാളിയോട് പുറം നാട്ടിൽ പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് കാണുമ്പോൾ ചോദിക്കുന്ന ഒരു ചോദ്യമാണ് നാട്ടിൽ എവിടെയാണെന്ന് and then we get into the kerala connection sir so you have to answer and start from there please tell us about your kerala connection parents were to calicut man my mother's family full from calicut in fact uh, the grandfather had a studio calicut le on the kolikod adil chitra studio no uh, it was very old like actually now the paragon bakery in adutha irunna now the paragon bakery has taken over us Studio space uh, soon also, they bought it from him after he uh, stopped working, actually. My dad is from Vyanaad. Like my, uh, his relations, most of them are in Vyanaad. Why not? Did you teach in Kerala, sir? Did you teach in Tamil Nadu? I taught two years. One year, I taught in second standard. I was in Calicut, St. Joseph's. Then, I taught in Koylon, Lizio High Second, sorry, Koylon, ജനിച്ചുകൊണ്ടെല്ലാം So, I was in the same way, I was in the same way. Okay. I came to join the School of Arts. I came to the state in one college. I was in the state in the state. I was in the state in the state. Fine Arts. So, I took up, I studied in the College of Arts. In arts and Crafts. It's a 108 years old college actually. Now, it must be around 200 years old. Then, I was studying, it was 108 years old. ഇനി അടുത്ത ക്വസ്റ്റൻ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഒരു ഫ്ലാഷ് ബാക്കിലേക്കാണ് ഫ്ലാഷ് ബാക്ക് ഒരു സീനാണ് ആ സീനിൽ ഇരിക്കുന്നത് സാറിന്റെ കുട്ടിക്കാലമാണ് ഓക്കെ എനിക്ക് അറിയാൻ സാധിച്ചത് പഠിക്കാൻ അത്യാവശ്യം മിടുക്കനായിരുന്നു എന്നാണ് കുട്ടിക്കാലത്ത് അതുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ ഞാൻ ഇനി കാണിക്കാൻ പോകുന്നത് ഒരു ബുക്കാണ് ഐ ബിലീവ് ദാറ്റ് ദിസ് പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ ബുക്ക് ഹ് വിൽ ഹാവ് സം സോർട്ട് ഓഫ് റെസിഡൻസ് ആൻഡ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസ് ഇൻ യുവർ ലൈഫ് ബിക്കോസ് ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് ബിൻ ഗിഫ്റ്റഡ് ടു യു ബൈ സംബഡി വെരി ക്ലോസ് ടു യു സോർട്ട് ഓഫ് എൻ ഐഡൽ എന്ന് വേണമെങ്കിൽ പറയാം ഞാൻ ആ ബുക്കിന്റെ കവർ കാണിക്കാം യു വിൽ ഹാവ് ടു ടെൽ മീ ദ സ്റ്റോറി ബിഹൈൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഫിസിക്സ് ഫോർ എൻ്റർടൈൻമെന്റ് ആക്ച്വലി ഇറ്റ് വാസ് നോട്ട് ഗിഫ്റ്റഡ് ടു മീ ദിസ് ബുക്ക് കോയമ്പറ്റൂർ പഠിക്കുമ്പോൾ ഐ തിങ്ക് ഇൻ സെവൻ സ്റ്റാൻഡേർഡ് എയ്റ്റ് സ്റ്റാൻഡേർഡ് പഠിക്കുമ്പോൾ ഐ വാസ് ഗോയിങ് ടു ദ എസ്റ്റേറ്റ് സോ കോയമ്പറ്റൂർ ബസ് സ്റ്റാൻഡിൽ ഐ ഒരു ഒരു ബുക്ക് ഷോപ്പ് ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു അവിടെ ഈ റഷ്യൻ ബുക്സും ഇതെല്ലാം വെക്കുമായിരുന്നു So, when I saw it was 3 rupees 50 paise for two books. Physics for Entertainment, one and two, red volume. So, okay. that time, okay. this was not the cover. It was smaller. Design is almost the same. It was a smaller book. Black and white, like the front cover. Uh-huh. So, I bought that. I really learned so much uh, uh, when I started reading. It was very practical physics, actually. I'm explaining about everything. And then, the prior end, I don't know. I was studying in the 8th standard. Okay. but so it's highly unlikely to have a book somebody of a child of that age to go for physics alle 
maybe it could be sports or entertainment angane poganana sadhyatha undavu and then you switch to physics why physics but before that itself my dad's books i his uh, uh, the intermediate level padicha books ella undayirunnu adu physics book ok undayirunnu paaye and chatte onnum illa undavilla so i used to go through all those things that inspired me to when i saw this i just wanted to buy it but it really helped me even now i advise people to uh, buy this book for children and things like that സർ അധികം പേർക്ക് അറിയാത്ത ഒരു കാര്യമുണ്ട് സാറിന്റെ ലൈഫുമായി കണക്റ്റഡ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള തീർച്ചയായിട്ടും അറിയുന്നവരുണ്ട് എന്നിരുന്നാലും മലയാളത്തിന്റെ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഇന്ത്യയുടെ തന്നെ ലെജൻഡറി ആയിട്ടുള്ള സിനിമാറ്റോഗ്രാഫർ വിൻസൺ മാസ്റ്റർ സാറിന്റെ അമ്മാവനാണ് ഐ ഹാവ് ടു ആസ്ക് യു ദിസ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഹൗ മച്ച് ഓഫ് ഹിസ് ഇൻഫ്ലുവൻസ് ഹാസ് ബീൻ ഇൻ യുവർ ലൈഫ് റീച്ചിങ് ഔട്ട് ടു ആൻ ഇൻഡസ്ട്രി ലൈക്ക് സിനിമ സിനിമയില് പേരെടുത്ത ഒരാളായിരുന്നു വിൻസൺ മാസ്റ്റർ ആ സമയത്ത് വിൻസൺ മാസ്റ്റിന്റെ അച്ഛനാണ് ജോർജ് വിൻസൺ ഹു ആർ ദ സ്റ്റുഡിയോ സോ ഫ്രം ചൈൽഡ്ഹുഡ് ഐ ടു സി മൈ ഗ്രാൻഡ് ഫാദർ പെയിന്റിങ് ആൻഡ് ഡൂയിങ് ഐ ഷു ഗോ ടു സ്റ്റുഡിയോ സി തിങ്സ് അറൌണ്ട് ആൻഡ് വെൻ വി ഹോളിഡേസ് മേ വിസ് ടു കം ടു വിൻസൺ മാസ്റ്റർ ടു മെഡ്രാസ് വെർ ഹീ ഈസ് ടു ലിവ് സോ ഐ ഹിസ് ടു ഗോ വൺസ് ഇൻ അ വൈൽ ഫോർ ഷൂട്ടിംഗ് ഷൂട്ടിംഗ് കാണാനായിട്ട് സോ ഹീസ് ടു ടേക്ക് മീ ബിഹൈൻഡ് ദ സെറ്റ് and he used to say see this is done by plaster paris from front it looks real so i was very inquisitive to know more and more about those kind of things but i was not industry uh, interested in film making as such or being a part of the film industry those things really helped me to know so much about materials and things so like that but when i was college padikka samayath when i used to go to his house so i studied in madras that time വിൻസൺ മാസ്റ്റർ രണ്ട് ആൺകുട്ടികളും അജയനൻ വിൻസെന്റും അജയൻ വിൻസെന്റും ബോത്ത് സിനിമാറ്റോഗ്രാഫേഴ്സ് നോ സോ ഏർലി ഡേ ഡേസ് ടു വർക്ക് അണ്ടർ ഹും ആൻഡ് ഡേസ് ടു ഡിസ്കസ് തിങ്സ് ഡൈനിങ് ടേബിളിൽ വെൻ്റെ ഹാവിങ് ഡിന്നർ ഓർ ലഞ്ച് ഇവര് ഓരോന്നിനെ പറ്റി ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്യും ആ സമയത്ത് അങ്ക്ലൂസ് ടു ടെൽ വോട്ട് ഫിലിം മേക്കിംഗ് ഡിഫറെന്റ് തിങ്സ് വിച്ച് ദേ വോണ്ട് ടു നോ ഇൻ കോമൺ ആൻഡ് തിങ്സ് അതിൽ വൺ തിങ് വിച്ച് ഐ സ്റ്റിൽ റിമെമ്പേഴ്സ് ദറ്റ് when i became an order director when i started marking the set uncle appo parayo nokke edu order director set ittu the window la pillu sare illa we need or shaft undum at least 10 feet engum irunde nalla so when i started marking these things actually helped me unknowingly this knowledge which i gained out of just listening sheer listening and then when in college days when jayan used to go for shooting i used to go for shooting i used to just see things around there but i was not really interested in becoming a part of the film industry accidentally and like that but i used to do small small things college but in my third year fourth year i used to make some properties special properties because i was very good in craft actually i used to make models and things like that but when i was in final year uh, final year college session my one of my uh, friend who was one year junior to me but he is he was my age uh, ashok nand bharatan na nevya so he ask me is how i want to make something for the film and a helicopter or a bomb and such that means that time my dad helped me but i didn't go for shooting okay after that uh, i think i started getting exposed to film industry little bit by making these kind of things okay uh, but everyone a few of them came to know about me ayer the great mother padam actually uh, it was uh, rajiv anjal was the art director and he became a director so the film they told me only 7 days balance work is ashok nu vichta and ashok varne i got a telugu film saw why don't you do you can easily do amana she nokata nu then he took me to the director after meeting me he told ashok you can go i'll manage with them because and the cousins um ellaru enna pettu already badran eduthu parantha okay so angana first time i started working and i did the oxygen plant set and seeing the oxygen plant uh, plant set even shobana heroines she was the heroine in that film ayer the great le uh, mm-hmm. her mother asked me achana me at na doctor sat na na mona illa then how did you do so much of detailing so i told no i went to on hospital went to the oxygen plant and took drawings from there and i made it those days we didn't have a camera or a phone or anything of that sort then i got about four five film offers that time after finishing that film uncle called me adana why i came to tell you about how how i reached here is uncle called me for jagadeya road was la vasundri le he was doing on camera effects so the time they used to call uh, visual uh, not visual effects exactly on camera effects so he wanted to make a miniature 
then for a song sequence he wanted to uh, make a small uh, model of uh, sri devi identical uh, <coughs> life size, uh, not in the life size scale correct i don't know which has to go the roof has to open so my dad did the miniature of the house and i did all the other mechanisms and things so like that to go up into the sky then i worked for seven months in that loop, doing glass mat paintings so i was working on the camera side so i learned a lot but i started enjoying because i was not feeling tired uh, early morning go night to late down again i used to go so i really started enjoying I, then i didn't think that it is my call and things like that i was enjoying that bit best outgoing student right la madras university le best outgoing student right la sabu vincent cyril decided to leave science and plunge into something like arts aa oru kaalathile innu polum palappolum athiyum practical alla ennu karuna decision aanu how did that happen i mean i'm sure you told about the film part but to take that thing you need a lot of courage le what made you do that see i only see whether i enjoy at that moment or not okay so i enjoyed it thoroughly though the money what i got was very less at that point of time but uh, until the work then shesham uh, ayurveda great was still going on that time side and last day of the uh, film i made a her- herald car which has to blast adu vandu we were doing it in front of good night bow and our office man kekanar so i was uh, preparing that and anu bharatan vandu was walking that way after lunch at dinner he was going for a walk his house was very close he saw this and called ashok and asked uh, malayalathil aaradhi cheyittulladhu because very good details are there when he told sabu is my friend uh, 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 vincent master the nephew also okay. so angana he took me there and he asked me uh, he, whether I, i can make a shark 13 feet long shark which has to go in the water and also so i told him i can do it like this so not at three hours i want at three hours and illa chetta nan start ya but reasonably i'll charge you don't worry about it sir ipo parayunnathu amara mana cinema kurichu alle amara amara okay so then after seeing the final one he asked me why don't you do adaptation for my film okay so i told him i don't know what is adaptation he told it is here but another you can do adaptation i was an adaptation for that for that i was an adaptation your uncle only made me so i did this i did the first film with my uncle vincent master and he only made me told me to get involved in all the creative part and how i became a director also because of him so you are, if you are a creative person you should get involved and do this film i told him aesthetically i like his film bharatanatyam padangal alle ishta irundha nikki so i told him because he was asking me i'll do and then the first padam independent la full padam ir cheyadhu nan okay sir ali etum verittu ninna oru kaaycha ennu parna aa sraav aanu 12 adi neelamulla aa sraav and you're saying that that was created that's not original no 13 adi sir 30 varshathe malayaligalde oru tetti dharana aanu ipo sir maati idutta we all were thinking at that time that this is original and you have just busted the myth i think this is the uh, charm of cinema le a make believe world like karyangal kondu poga ennu parayunnathu so at this point i have to ask you something uh, for people like us mostly laymen we don't understand the role of an art director or a production designer in a film sir adu onnu explain cheyan pattu so that we can understand what happens into the making of a film from your point of view see actually first i should tell you it's an irony in a profession that is uh, the more the better you do you will go unnoticed because it will look real and they don't know it's been done or not a shark and we paramam they we did one smaller like we took a smaller shark and we shot little bit for the close ups and things like that in mutgad bridge that madhavamata irun camera man aparthunde and uh, when you asking me what is actually adaptor's job adaptor is in charge mainly about the set and the set construction and propping and things like that production designer or no adaptor's work under production designer okay. that is a new son because it is abroad like uh, american that uh, basically industry level or system on the production designer you can have three or four adaptors under you but they decide the mood of the film where it can be shot what can kind of set will be designed uh, what can be designed what to be the color what to be the costume so you have to interact with costume designers uh, okay. cinematographers every department okay regarding this one and take care of most of the things except emotions and things like that but uh, here today in india now uh, adaptors especially in malayalam adaptors do most of the things like this so it was very easy for me to become a 
production designer. There's only uh, Bombay and Matralo Union. We have costume designers and uh, production designers in the same union, actually. Okay. Uh, in Bombay. We are, uh, I think, only about 20 of us who are production designers, actually. But now everyone was using production design on one of the But there is a mistake, like, people didn't know about it. Malayalam, even managers, production managers, there's to senior manager uses production designer, thinking that term is very nice. So I used to tell them, no, no, production designer was an art director, actually. So even if you see Kala Panil, you'll see title Suresh Balaji in the pair as production designer. Where okay. He was executive producer of that film. Oh, okay. Because people were ignorant about it. The titles are the room. But so how, how does the process start like? So uh, I believe the director comes to you. He comes up with a script and he narrates you and give you a probably a picture of his vision. And then what happens like? No, actually first, uh, nowadays they give us the bound script actually. Okay. So we go through the whole, uh, read the whole thing, then meet the director. If he's a writer also, all the more better we have to ask him what he imagined and so on. And we have to tell our suggestions about the look and things like with the references. I'll show him this should be the look and this is how it can be. Yeah. And from the costume onwards, we discuss about everything. Then the uh, DOP, uh, cinematographer also is involved where uh, the mood of the lighting and which location will be the sun. So finally, everyone collaborates and we all try to take the best out of each other. And it's a teamwork, uh, finally. But our responsibility is to see that the film, what you see as visual, it will be captured by the cameraman, but it's set by the production designer and the art director and the art department, basically. So even if you say one sequence itself, we might do natural location, match it in another location, or if it is a very difficult sequence, we might create the set. Then CG will take over after a point of time. Extension will be done in CG. So too many things are involved because technically you should be quite uh, knowledgeable enough to understand the process of the whole thing, actually, filmmaking. Young yeah, Edinda, sir, Ashoka on the film, I thought it is created on a massive budget. But sir, so in an interview, uh, it was on a very tight budget and you had to pull it off in, in a big way, which we as an audience, we can, never came to know about it. See, actually, that uh, hats off to Santosh Shivan, who can manage it. He has done so many documentaries, he'll walk around with the camera and shoot on the film and come back. So, because of his experience and things like that, that scale also came through and with minimum things we could. And we are in total sync when you discuss about these kind of things that really helped the film to be what it is supposed to be. Sir, I know that you love period film because there is a charm and challenge involved in creating a bygone era. But uh, if you ask me, I feel that uh, creating a real location or an existing location is also challenging. It's a remake of Malayalam in the cinema. If you have a climax shoot in South Bombay, in the area, that's why you have to say that Amitabh Bachchan sir he called up Priyadarshan sir. He was asking, how did you manage to shoot it in that location? Because for his film, Dawn, he even he couldn't manage it. So, he said, what did Priyadarshan sir say? He said, he didn't shoot it in Bombay. He said, he didn't shoot it. Sir, you are a master creator when it comes to creating Mumbai every time or most of the time in Chennai. My question to you is that, how much do you think the power of observation really matters in your profession? It is very important because being an artist, we have been trained our mind that way. I said, uh, because uh, college, like uh, school of arts, especially, first two years, uh, we call it the integrated preparatory course, where we are taught to do portrait, full figure, painting, water, watercolors, first start to in a painting like room, a much larger, everything is a part of the subject. So, if you want to do a portrait or still life, your concentration is so high, the lighting you should understand, see that, and recapture. With your hand, you have to rework it onto a paper in two-dimensional person. Even sculptures, in other words, of face, we are supposed to do it exactly like that. To get that lightness, you, so your observation, the concentration should be so high. So because of that, so within five years' time, automatically you will start seeing things and within a fraction of a second, you uh, absor uh, absorb so much of information from that. And for me, it became a habit whenever I sit there, some texture on the wall, light, so we can recreate it. So everything becomes a part of 
your profession or your interest basically that's why when hobby becomes a profession i think it becomes so easy because without your knowledge you are learning and you are using that in your uh, daily work so basically observation is very very important okay and ability to recreate for that you should be an artist and uh, you should be a craftsman who can produce it and the material knowledge is also equally uh, very important to know to get that feel ingana cheyadu and photography also is a part of it where you can you should know how it look in a camera and the space uh, when the for camera movement at the space one there is too many things if you go into detail actually but sir how do you know that you can recreate something so a uh, free time kittumbol when you have sort of a break time in between projects you do a trial by error and try to come up with something so that anticipating that something like that could be used in the future angane nokko or uh, on the job il thanne aano try cheynathu see on the job and as soon as when we discuss it we will start thinking about materials how it can achieve that then practically we'll start making it sometimes we might make a smaller model to see whether it's working for a dolphin on a jet or not with the armature and the sun the uh, basically the bone structure should be like this like a for the vertebrae column then only it will be flexible for a fish it might be going like this but it may not go like that so all based on that we might have to think a lot and <laughs> i think it came naturally to naturally to me i should thank god because i think the talent which i got through my genes from my dad side dad also was all around he was ella urtaru vachana avanukku he used to paint also he used to draw also board work pandu college padikkum school padikkum when he wanted money pandu drama stage nalla background painting varikku irundha sir fashion studio avanukku kalikittu vechittu the like that he did so much he is a mechanical engineer mari uru aalana so he was not educated in that but he used to read a lot of books those books were lying at home so he was an all rounder actually he was a very good then artistic talents and he was a very good and uncle was through it and the family most of them were not there actually he was a very good partner and dancer and musicians and things like that which i didn't get at all adu mathra eriki you never thought of acting as a profession or a passion no oh, no some like two or three films i have done in the sense It's one of the small, small things, but Robol, I've done about three scenes, actually. Although the agent shy to that. Uh, after that, I decided not to show my face in front of the camera because my attention was not that conscious. So I feel very comfortable behind the camera because we have better control and understanding about what is happening in the front and we can judge things better, I think. You are at another person's mercy to judge you, basically. Made in Kerala, made in Kerala.